Hello. Hello and welcome back to Prepare to be Bored. Stand up straight. So my gut doesn't hang out my 44 years. It's hard to accept 44 years. It's not hard to accept, I just don't think about it. And then when I see myself in the mirror <laughs> or watch, see pictures or whatever, I realize how much I'm not 34 and doing mixed martial arts anymore. Anyhow, uh, the last, last several videos I'm usually grinding glass, I'm usually trying to create a polish and uh, I'll show you what I came up with. Uh, I still have a ways to go. I'm using loose grit, loose grit from 80 to 220 and 400 uh, and then I'm jumping to 800 on the angle grinder. Uh, I found that the, uh, I, I went 220 right to 400 on, with the angle grinder. I went 220 loose grit and then I did 400 with the angle grinder. For some reason, uh, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but uh, when I do 400, I, I just, I'm not using it right yet. I'm, I've reached out to stone workers and stuff and other glass workers and so far I haven't gotten any feedback back yet about how not to leave these stutter marks with, with, the, uh, with the angle grinding heads. And of course, the, the uh, heavier the grit, like 400, the worse the marks are. So I did 400 with uh, loose grit and they're beautiful. It's, it's like a, a sandblasted opaqueness, which looks great, but that's obviously not the clarity that I'm looking for. So I did, I'll show you this later, uh, 400 loose grit and then I did 800 uh, with the angle grinder and I did pretty well and then I overdid it, overthought it and left some stutter marks anyway but I'm going to correct that. But it is the weekend and I don't use my angle grinder because I use it outside and it's the weekend and this is sort of a residential neighborhood and I don't like to annoy everybody in the neighborhood. So anyway I'm working quietly. <laughs> I've got some music. I don't know if you can even hear that. Anyway, um, I've got a mold here. An, an, uh, it was a new piece. It's going to be a new piece. And, uh, and uh, what I'm doing right now is cutting, cutting little slivers. These are actually the big pieces that I'm cutting small pieces into and uh, placing them into the mold. So I've got these pieces of sheet glass. This is clear and this is iridescent. Uh, this is a dark gray. Light silver gray double rolled iridescent. Um, obviously this has a coating, it's metallic and that uh, inlaid in layers with the clear is going to create an effect, I hope. Well, it'll definitely create some kind of effect. I just don't know if it's gonna do the thing I want it to. Uh, when we fire it in the kiln, we'll find out. Uh, but the uh, this is a whole different idea than the moon one. And uh, this is before the firing, so I'm laying the glass in the, in the mold right now. Uh, I'll show you the mold. Come along with me. Um, Here's the mold. Uh, this is sort of a dystopian idea. Uh, more light. Always my handy lamp, so. Anyway, you can get this idea of avenues and deep alleys with some kind of dystopian, overcrowded <laughs> uh, metropolis uh, coming out of a, of a iridescent haze. Uh, and there's a scale, and the reason I have a scale is that I have to measure uh, and w measure the the weight. Of, and this is a lot of this glass here is going to be going into the, that mold. I have to measure the weight of the uh, glass based on the volume. There's an equation. You take the the volume. I use water. 
the volume of water convert uh, in liters, convert that to pounds of glass, and then you multiply that by the specific gravity of glass, uh, bullseye glass, the specific gravity is 2.5 times that of water. So I take the pounds of glass, multiply it by 2.5, or pounds of water, 2.5, uh, times 2.5, and I get how much glass I need. This is going to be almost 18 pounds of glass. All these, this is six ounces, and I've been working from, I've put about a pound and a half of uh, these little slivers in so far, uh, which I think you just saw. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, uh, doing this layers. It'll be much clearer when it's melted and in the mold, I hope. Uh, obviously not grinding right now. Let me show you what I did. So speaking of grinding, here is uh, a finished product. Uh, it looks pretty good. Ooh, ah. Uh. Right. It's called House of the Moon. This, whole, this is a series called House of the Moon. I got a nice sh polish there, which makes it mirror in the back. Uh, so this is 800 grit, and then I think I even went 1500 on the angle grinder, and then cerium, cerium oxide. Anyway, it turned out well. What I'm trying to do, obviously, is evoke. The, the ob, you know, the, the, the circle that was indented in there is obviously a, a moon figure, but the glass, the way I laid the glass in there to melt, I tried to create the, the idea that the moon influences everything around it. And so the, the pattern there is evocative or, or should evoke the moon. You know, like the 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 uh, volcanic plains, the the dead volcanic plains and and impact craters that are light and dark. I wanted that to. Uh, I couldn't precisely just uh, draw it in there, or I probably could have, but to me that's boring. I wanted to show an idea that the moon itself is influencing everything around it, including us. Anyway. It turned out pretty well. There are two kind, three kinds of glass in there. Uh, transparent, crystal clear transparent, uh, a light silver gray, and actually there was some lavender too, but I, I ground most of that away. I think it's more apparent at the bottom. Okay, moving on. I uh, actually moved to here. So I've wrapped these up just because I didn't want grit contamination, but they are... Without the uh, paper on them, they're a milky, a very, a very beautiful, actually, uh, opaque color, or, or color. Uh, they're just opaque, um, and they're obviously 400 grit. I did these on, uh, I did those loose grit on a piece of float glass, like you've seen me do a gazillion times on the other videos. Moving on, this is 800. Uh, it's been marked where I need to redo the 800 because there, again, are some stutter marks in the glass where I'm not so great with it, with the angle grinder yet. But uh, I'm excited about this one. I actually like the shape of this one even better than the other one. Uh, it's a little more dynamic. This one is a little more still, but then again, the gift I was, this is commissioned and that's actually exactly what I was going for. This one shows the moon in a little more dramatic fashion, or it will when it's done. But that's 800 grit with the angle grinder. And then I'm going to go probably 1500 again, and then hit it with cerium to get the shine. And uh, this is not perfect yet. There's If you turn it this way, you, know, you catch the light might catch it. You're going to see some some stutter marks in the glass. You might not be able to see it, but uh, I'm probably going to go back and redo that too. Mm. 
somewhat. Uh, as I, because why not? You know, I got my studio. That's not not due. <laughs> I'm not handing that over until shortly before Christmas to the person who uh, commissioned it. And uh, so why not use it and try to get a lot better at the polishing process with, with the tools that I have. Uh, and that's what's happening, as I always say. I'm just going to get back to cutting glass here and, and weighing it and uh, loading this mold. And uh, I don't know if I'll come back here tomorrow. It's Saturday night. I know I have to do laundry tomorrow. Uh, uh, and maybe some other chores. <laughs> but I would like to get this mold in the kiln in the next two days. I have another mold too that's more of a hollow. It's a funny skull that I'm going to, uh, it's a lot simpler. I'm just going to break about 18 pounds of glass into the mold of that one and just fuse it all together. It doesn't require any special uh, technique like this. So I'll fire two at the same time in the next firing. And that's what's going on. Like I said, uh, Happy Saturday night, or whenever you see this. Mom and Dad, I love you. You're here with me when I'm doing this. Keep that in mind, because I do. And uh, I guess I'll cut out now. Just I usually leave it and let you guys watch me grind, but uh, this is just cutting glass. The only thing that you may... I, I've got gloves, so you probably... I probably won't cut myself, so there, there's not going to be anything exciting to see. Uh... So that's all. Uh, I'm going to cut out now and start cutting glass. Have a good night. Bye.